uh, just coming in. And also this big story today that we are all over the IRS saying that it lost two years of emails from one of their top administrative officials, Lois Lerner. So now her hard drives, we understand, got basically thrown in the garbage. They get recycled, according to the folks at that government agency. And that is not sitting well with Republicans. It's time for the administration uh, to come clean and to be honest and truthful to the American people. At the bottom of this, good luck, right? We're going to dig in coming up next. We are back and we've got new developments in the missing emails at the center of the IRS targeting scandal. There's new reports claiming that Lois Lerner's hard drive, oh, they tried to find it, but it was in the garbage, basically. It had been recycled. And that makes it basically impossible, we're being told, to figure out if she was in any direct communication with the White House or others regarding the targeting of conservative groups. So this leaves lawmakers to take the administration at its word. We did, in fact, do a search for all communications between Lois Lerner and any person within the executive office of the president for this period. We found zero emails. Sorry to disappoint. So there's your answer on that. Jay Sekulow, attorney of, uh, dozen, for dozens of the groups that have been targeted by the IRS. Jay, welcome. Good to have you here. Uh, what do you make of, of Jay Carney's statement there yesterday? Thanks, Martin. Morning. You know, I think the IRS has destroyed evidence. That's what I think. And I think Jay Carney can be smug and say, you know, sorry to disappoint everybody. We don't have an email. But who believes anything that's coming out of the administration on this issue right now? We also have a report that, as you mentioned, that her hard drive was recycled, which means they threw it away. Uh, and we also have a report that six other high-ranking IRS officials that are defendants in our lawsuit, they also had computer crashes and their emails are gone also. So try to pull that off if you're being audited by the IRS and just tell them you'd like to have the receipt, but uh, it got lost in your email and your hard drive crashed and it was recycled. And see if they give you your deduction uh, for that expense. I don't think they will. And I'll tell you something. The American people should be outraged uh, about this. Congress has been mocked. The president says it's a, a phony scandal. And meanwhile, his administration staff uh, and, and the leaders of his bureau and, and IRS are, uh, without a doubt, uh, removing evidence. And you couple that with that, one, one of the emails we did see, Martha, uh, has Lois Lerner in contact with the chief of staff of the Commissioner of Internal Revenue saying to let's, quote, piece together uh, criminal cases against our clients right. uh, for alleged false statements in their applications. They didn't have false statements, by the way, but they thought they might be able to piece them together. And the Department of Justice said, yeah, let's do this. So we stopped our cooperation with the Department of Justice as of yesterday when those emails became public. Uh, voluntary compliance with the FBI. And having the FBI investigate the IRS right now, it, it, frankly, it doesn't border on the absurd. It so, is absurd. So where are you? I mean, where, where does this leave you, Jay? Because, you know, when you look at it, in sum, yeah. you have Lois Lerner who sat there uh, on national television and said, I, I take the fifth. I'm not going to talk. Yep. I will not talk about what happened. Then you have the documents that were, return that were turned over, heavily redacted uh, yep. in very significant areas, according to everybody who looked at them in Congress and according to you, who's also been very interested in them and who got a lot of those uh, uncovered in the first place. And now this. Right. And now, oh, and you know what? The other stuff you want, it's been recycled on hard drives. I mean, it, it, it's an, if yeah. you made it up, no one would believe this story. Yeah, you, you know, Martha, Lois Lerner's response to the technician that they utilized uh, to get the documents back when he said, I, get, I could not retrieve your files, you know what she said? Stuff happens. Well, stuff does happen. Here's what's going to happen. We'll subpoena every single government agency that Lois Lerner talked to. That's the FEC, the Federal Election Commission. That's the uh, Department of the Treasury. That's going to be the Department of Justice and others. And she may have lost her emails, but people receive those emails. So the people that receive them are going to need to turn them over. And in the allegations of our complaint, if they have eliminated the evidence and can't produce them, it's deemed admitted uh, under federal law. So, you know, first of all, they also violated the Federal Records Act. So, I mean, you've, you've got a whole series of violations here. Let me tell you something, Martha. If I was or Lois Lerner's attorney after all this, I'd be telling her to take the Fifth Amendment, too, because what she's done here and what she's allowed people to do is criminal. Very interesting side note yeah. on the email uh, when she requests assistance, technical assistance, which, by the way, they never went to the FBI to recover these files. That's number one. In the technical assistance, yep. you know what the subject line of her email reads? Be careful Quickly, then we what go. you ask for. And I think the same thing to her. Go ahead. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. Jay, thank you very much.